Hey everyone, I'm out here in the garage and what we're going to be doing today is continuing on with the cylinder head removal on the 2008 Activa MDX. So stay tuned. So if you're new to the channel, just want to welcome you here and hopefully you'll consider subscribing if you like what you see. Also, check out Car Apprentice on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I post lots of pictures and videos on those platforms before I post anything on YouTube. And occasionally I'll post things on those platforms I don't post on YouTube. Also, check out the website at carapprentice.com. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. So in the last video, we got to the point where we got the crank pulley off. And we're going to pick up from there and get the timing belt off today. So, let's get into it. All right, so I rechecked the timing marks. I did have to adjust it just a little bit. Uh, that was probably from me trying to uh, take the pulley bolt off with the uh, Honda tool. So I am going to now take the crank pulley off. Got everything all set up. All right. And the key right there, dude, I would leave that in there. Don't take it out. Okay, we're going to take the lower cover off now. So I'm probably going to get in your way a bit here. So I'll try to stay out of your way, but basically um, there are seven 10 millimeter bolts on the lower cover. I'll show you a picture of where all those bolts go when I get everything all taken care of here. To come back to that one. We got one up here. There we go. All right, that pays to have snap-on tools sometimes. Uh, I was using a Duralast and I think the snap-on got it off. Okay, so we're down to one bolt, I think. I got I count it six so far. Right up here. And of course it's the toughest one to reach. All right, so I'm going to try pulling the cover off from above. Basket is kind of stuck to the engine block. We'll get it off here in a second. Just gonna pull it out of the groove on the cover. Okay, so I'm going to remove this little plate here. There 
There's two sides to it. So it's concaved inward. Hope you can see that. So don't put it on this way. All right, so one way to confirm that our timing is good, there's a little dot right there. Hopefully you can see that. And there's a pointer up here. So those should be lined up. So they look good. So that means that we are at top dead center. Our timing is correct on the crankshaft. And we have already confirmed that our marks are lined up up above. All right, so while it's not absolutely necessary, I always like to make a mark across the crank gear and the timing belt, as you can see right there on the left, the lower left there, I use a Sharpie marker to do that. And that may rub off a little bit, so we'll have to keep an eye on that, but that'll help us hopefully uh, make sure that our new belt's installed correctly. There's a mark that I made on the front cam pulley across the timing belt. It lines up with the mark on the cover here. And I did the same thing to the rear also. So back there, you see that R right there? That lines up with the cover, the mark on the cover. In preparation for removing the timing belt, I'm going to use one of the battery hold down rods to hold the timing belt adjuster in place. put this one here so I don't lose it. I need to grind down the end of the rod to a conical shape. So I'm threading the battery holder up against the timing belt adjuster right now. Okay, I think I hit it now. Let's see here. There we go. So you're only supposed to tighten that by hand. Do not use a wrench. Next, I'm going to remove the engine mount bracket that sits on top of the timing belt. First, I need to remove this bolt that secures a plastic bracket to the mount with a 10 millimeter. All right, so they did not make getting that mount out down there very friendly. Uh, there's a bolt right here. You probably can't see where my hand is, but if I, I can't even get a socket and a wrench in there to get that bolt out. So I'm going to take the engine mount that's over here out. So you'll see all that in a second. In order to get to that, I got to remove some of this stuff here. So first thing I'm going to do. Go ahead and take this 10 out. And I'm going to take this cover off. And then you probably can't see it. I'll take a picture. Okay, there's two tabs back there. There's one here and one over here. I'm going to push those that way. And then I'll lift up on the box. So, get that as high as I can here. 
Move that over here somewhere. That works for now. I think I'm going to take both of these bolts out. I was just going to take this one out here, but I'm going to take both of these out. And this one here. Okay. So from what I can tell, this cover needs to come off. And I think you just have to lift up a little bit here. There's a little tab right there, it looks like. Yeah, there we go. There's a second one down here on the side. Same kind of action. There we go. And then this should swing that way, it looks like. And this should be able to slide it out, I think. Yeah, there we go. And pull that out. Okay, so it looks like this module is bolted in right here and right here. There's one. Now there is a bolt down here that holds this bracket on, so I could take that out too. I really am trying to avoid taking all this stuff out, but I think I might do that just so I can get to this, to this bolt a little bit easier. All right, so I'm gonna take this bolt out. Okay, there's that one. All right, so I'm gonna get this one out. There is another bolt underneath, so I have to get to that also. Uh, yeah, so quite a bit just to get to the engine mount. That's crazy. I know the pilot was not like this. Pilot also doesn't have as many computers too. So take that one out. All right, so I think the last bolt is here, right underneath here. I can find it. I think it's right there. Should be enough space in there without having to disconnect all this stuff. It is. Let me grab a ratchet. All right. There's that bolt. I've created enough space, it looks like, to get the mount out now. All right, so I'm going to guess your view is blocked, but there is a connector down here. I'm going to go ahead and take this whole thing out. So I have to unclip it from here first, and you remember to do that now so I don't try to yank on it and end up damaging our AC line. There we go. That's out. Okay. See, I think I need to lift up on that. Lift up on that, slide this that way. Okay, so that's off the bracket now. Lift up on the right side of the clip, lift up, and then slide the whole connector that way. Okay, and then now I just need to get the 10 millimeter out right. That is right here. That should be able to get this whole thing out. Okay. And take this out. And look, there's our engine mount. For our engine mount, there are three 17 millimeter bolts. First one is right here. I'm just going to get it loose for now, just in case I have any issues with this thing flexing or anything. And same thing with this one down here. And there's another one on this side. Okay. That's the short one. The other two are long. 
I know that for sure. There's one. There's that one. And our engine mount is out. Looks like it's in decent shape. No need to replace that. All right, so now we've got all that stuff out of the way, we can break this one loose here. It's 14 millimeters. Okay, so we're going to remove the idler pulley. That's a 14 millimeter bolt. So it's got blue on it. You can see right there is some blue paint. All right, so there seems to be a lot of tension on that pulley. I'm going to pull the belt now and see if I can get it off. Now that I got a little bit loose here. There we go. Leave the gear on there. Take the belt off. Okay. There must be some Loctite or something on here. It's hard to get out. off the camshaft up there and there we go belt is out I'm going to continue to take this out I'm going to do this off camera and that's about it yeah just like I thought this one has Loctite on it All right, so there you have it. There's a timing belt removal on the 2008 Acura MDX. So we're making little bits of progress to get to the point where we can get the cylinder heads off on this car, and I'm hoping to do that in the next video. So hopefully this information was helpful, and thanks for watching.